pick some, this one will never trigger, will never be executed in any case. But let's say, uh, I don't know. No, it will. Uh, it, there's no way to uh, understand it other than uh, if this doesn't this work at some point, this will never. And well, anyway, what you want to do is either something like this inactive off active on or you can even do something like uh, I like to think about it like uh, settings a kind of uh, a base pression to uh, to your sprites so by default you are off you are all off and then if uh, only those who are active are set on that's exactly the same that's more or less the same thing that happens here but you're only touching the inactive ones so anyway uh, we'll do the same thing with the the edge that's uh, one case where a family is uh, a nice thing to have um, I would probably put this in the same family and have the boolean shared in the family uh, no. Edge, edge. Don't talk while thinking. And here, edge. I've never used the replace uh, functionality. Maybe I should try here. Replace object. Edge. Oh, that's nice. I should use this this very much often. I can do this like this, maybe. Oh, that's so nice. Can I do this like this? Oh no, I can't select uh, action and condition at the same time. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so here it should work. Okay, so that's that's my display function. Whenever I will compute which one is active and inactive, I can just call the display function and magically uh, make uh, things uh, work for now I just call it here <coughs> okay um, I will now create the nitty gritty of our system which is I want to create a function that um, activates somehow somehow um, yeah, that takes a source node, any node, as input, and will activate any node that is connected to this node. So I will call this um, hmm, connect. Yeah, connect. Connect and it takes a node UID in argument. So this one was display. Ah, copy pasting bug on my own. <laughs> Connect. Okay, we we'll remove these things. I will create a variable called node UID. I will set it inside the function. It's a local variable. It's only available in the function and, and exist within the function and I will set this to function dot param zero it's uh, not necessary it's just that uh, I prefer this it's uh, easier to read to me than just this thing which is a bit anonymous now I know what I have in my function. So what will I do uh, with that? I will uh, check any edges that has this node as one of the end. So uh, any edges that has in f its from or to UID uh, instance variable which has node UID. So it's look it will look like this just ordering this I want the edges 
which have from UID node UID. So here I'm filtering any edges that have this. But I want also edges that have node UID as their two UID property. But I don't want edges that have both at the same time. It, uh, it can't be. It can't exist edges that connect to itself, a node to itself. So I want an OR block. This will pick all the edges that answer this condition or this condition. And that's exactly what I need. So now that I have these edges, what I want to do is to get to the other side size or the side of the connection. So if it's from I want to go to two, if it's two, if I want to go to the other side, to from. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. And I want to let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. If I one thing I have to keep in mind is when I will call this function, I consider the node UID to be active. That's uh, a prerequisite because when I will call the connect and get all my edges, I will activate all of them. I will activate my edges here. <coughs> and I will I, w I want to now um, look at them at each of edges one by one so for each edges I want to see what is the other end of the, the node and I'm wondering if uh, here it's how I would uh, do it if from UID isn't I, w I can uh, invert it like this or invert it like this it's the same if it's from UID isn't the node that's the value I want oh I think I need to draw something <laughs> okay here I have my node. This one is not zero. This one is not one. This node is not two. If I have an edge between one and two, I have two UID equal two, for instance. It could be the other one around. And from UID equal one. And that's uh, and let's say I have this one as uh, an active node. And I pass it on our connect function. I will get all the edges that have one in here or here. So I will get this edge. Then if this edge has a from UID, which is not one, this is not the case. So it will jump to the next I will do. If the two UID isn't one, I will use this one to activate the node two. So here what will happen if two UID isn't node UID I will pick the node with edge to UID and activate it. Activate and here I will do kind of the opposite and activate it as well. I'm wondering if it's not over complicated to filter things here and filter things here again. So I will write it another way, uh, which will look maybe a bit, uh, oh, it might look better actually. So I will split this in two. just consider them one by one. I will still have the for each, but I don't need this and this anymore. Well, yeah, it looks a bit better. 
Uh, it's two, so I want from. Okay, yeah, it looks a bit slightly better. It's just like a, that I have to repeat this part each time, but uh, for the rest it's uh, a bit more easy to understand. So, we have two situations. Uh, from is the given node. And two is the given node. I check one end of the edge and the other. If from is the OEID, I want to check each edge that comes from this node and I want to check the yeah, this is the two. I want I want to check uh, where it's pointing to and then activate the node it is pointing to. And if it's the two the idea I want the to activate the node it comes from situation it's better uh, written like this it's uh, better yeah but here's the little tricky part it's the little tricky tricky part the little tricky part is that I will call the connect on the newly activated node I will do connect on the node dot UID I could have used this or H2 UID, it's the, the same value. But here I can copy paste. <laughs> so it's better to use node.uid. Yeah, so I will be able to run this over and over. But if I uh, actually use this function like this, it will do some, it will do, uh, it will make a little uh, trigger, a little error. Let's see. I will show you what error you will get. It's really something. Uh, it's something uh, really. Um, how to say this? Simple, but uh, yeah, you will see this a uh, little bit uh, after I did something else. What you want to do? Let's see. Yeah. For now, I will just do something like uh, once I release so uh, edge connected or destroyed. If I release the mouse, I want to evaluate my. Uh, I want to evaluate my uh, my node. And uh, so I will do a connect. But what node will I choose? I will choose the source node. So the source node, I can get it from its boolean. I can do something like this. Connect with, as a parameter, the node.uid. And it should work. And then I want to display the result. So let's display the result. Display. If I launch this and I do this, beam. JavaScript error. Maximal call size exceeded. That's the sign of a very bad thing. This goes on forever. It uh, it calls because uh, if I have this, it will check this edge activate this one and then check this edge and activate this one and check this edge this one i don't want i, I don't want to uh, to go back on an edge that is already activated so the thing i just have to add in our uh, little function is one condition here is i want only to select unactivated edges. Booleans active unactivated. I I will uh, all edges that is already activated won't be considered here and here. So here we should have something working. Okay, it's working. And it's not working.